What's up everyone? I'm Austin and this is my dog Gemma and I want to say welcome back to another story time with Gemma. We got an amazing response from last week's video of Gemma reading her favorite book, I'm going to give you a bear hug. This week we want to do the same thing. Gemma wants to read of a bit of a longer book today. It's called Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin. And as you can see, Gemma's all dressed up with her Sunday best and she's ready to read. Well, hiya, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to be reading one of my favorite books. It's called Good Good Father, written by Chris Tomlin and Pat Barrett. So, let's get into it today. This is one of my favorite books. A colorful kite soared in the sky and then whoosh, it caught on an oak tree branch. Don't worry, I can help, Tucker called, tugging the kite this way and that. Tucker was a little bear. Helping others made him happy, and his friends needed lots of help. Some bears were always fighting. Some bears were sick. Some bears couldn't read. Some bears were hungry, and some bears were sad. Tucker didn't know how to help his friends. I could ask the king for help, Tucker cried. Maybe, just maybe, if I give him the perfect gift, he will help us. So off Tucker went on a journey to see the good king who lived in the castle where the door was always open. It wasn't long before a group of big, strong raccoons blocked Tucker's path. Stop, one raccoon ordered. What do you want? I, w I want to take the king to the perfect gift, but, but I don't know what to choose, Tucker explained. The king is a good warrior, the raccoon said. Why don't you give him the shield? The king will keep you safe, cheered the other raccoons. Down the road, an owl swooped down in front of Tucker. Hoot hoot, the owl called out. What would you like to learn? I'm trying to figure out the perfect gift to take to the king, Tucker replied. Oh, the king teaches from his wise book, the owl told him. I'm certain the king would be pleased if you gave him something to read. As Tucker walked away, the owl hooted. Go see the king, he is a good teacher. As he walked, Tucker spotted foxes wearing long white jackets. How are you feeling? asked a concerned fox. I feel fine, but some of the bears in my town are sick, Tucker replied. I'm on my way to see the king and ask for his help. Here, take these bandages as a gift, the fox said. The king is a good doctor. More confused than ever, Tucker sat to rest. Are you here for a snack? A squirrel asked. Actually, I'm trying to find the perfect gift for the king, Tucker explained, looking around. Wow, you have so many yummy vegetables and fruits. Why don't you take the king these seeds, the squirrel suggested. The king is a good farmer. He will help you grow food. Far away, Tucker heard music and singing and laughter. He followed the sounds until he spotted some happy turtles. Jump on in, now's your chance. This turtle town just loves to dance, a turtle sang. We used to be sad, but now everything is a celebration because of the king. What kind of gift do you think he would like, Tucker asked. Give the king this violin, the turtle said. He's a good musician. The king will bring you joy. All the animals Tucker met had told him different stories about the king and what the perfect gift would be. But Tucker still didn't know what to give him. He looked up to the castle at the top of the tall hill. As it always was, the door was wide open. Tucker tiptoed toward the open door. Tucker! The king ran toward him with a huge smile. I'm so glad you're here. It looks like you need my help. My friends are in trouble, and I thought if I brought you the perfect gift, 
You would help us, Tucker explained shyly. You brought the perfect gift, the king said, with great love. Now, let's go help your friends. Tucker wasn't sure which gift was the perfect one. Even so, he hurried off with the king. On their journey back to the little bear's town, Tucker asked question after question. Are you a warrior? Yes, the king answered. Are you a teacher? Yes, the king repeated. Are you a doctor? Are you a farmer? Are you a musician? Yes, yes, and yes, the king patiently replied. But how can you be all of these things? The little bear asked. The king smiled. I am all of these things because I am a good father. Tucker didn't understand. Soon, the king and the little bear reached Tucker's town. When the bear saw the king, one by one they bowed down. The king walked through the town and gave help to everyone who needed it. Most of all, the king, the good father, loved them. Tucker said to the king, Now I see, you are not only a good father, you are a good, good father. A good, good father protects us. A good, good father teaches us. A good, good father makes us well. A good, good father gives us what we need. A good, good father fills life with music and laughter. And most of all, a good, good father loves us. Dear King, I have one more question. Which gift was the perfect gift? Tucker asked. You are the perfect gift, the king told the little bear. You came to me when you needed help. You trusted me. You bring me great joy. And I love you with all my heart, the same way I love all my children. Tucker, curled up with sleepy eyes and a full heart, whispered, You really are a good, good father. Well, wasn't that story just splendid? Aren't you guys all so happy that we have a good, good father? His name is Jesus. Well, reading sure does make me tired. It's time for me to go take a nap. Night night everyone. Wow, that was totally awesome. Great job reading this week, Jem. We hope you guys join us next week as Gemma reads once again another of her favorite books called It Will Be Okay by Lisa Terkurs. It's an awesome book. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. So see you next week.